guys welcome to my channel I hope you're having a great day we're kind of having a chilly rainy day here in the Northeast so today we're going to talk about a new segment called macabre moments with Maddie now I know people often argue over the proper pronunciation of macabre but there are actually three different ways to pronounce macabre so if you like to say it a different way than me then that's totally cool I accept that, so please accept my way of pronouncing the word. So what this is going to be about is typically they're going to be five minutes or less when I do these segments. So this is not taking away from any longer video. I'm definitely going to still do longer videos about the Mandela effect and other paranormal stuff and other horror stuff. So I'm still going to give you guys that for sure. This is just additional content for maybe people who like shorter videos or just to get some extra videos and extra content out for the week. So this is just to give you guys more stuff, definitely not to take away from anything. And the other thing is that I will be having a giveaway when my channel gets to 250 subscribers. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, that's something you should consider doing. And at any time, feel free to share a video because maybe one of your friends would like to subscribe and then we can get to that giveaway sooner. So during the macabre moments with Maddie, they can be about anything basically. Like I said, but we're gonna try to keep it under five minutes typically. So I, maybe I'm gonna give you five facts about a famous murder case or three different paranormal facts or we're gonna talk about a horror movie or another thing we could do, which we're actually going to do today, is I'm going to tell a very short story and then you guys in the comments, you're going to guess if the story is true or false. So is it something that really happened or is it a little bit of fiction that I either wrote or found? And then next week I will tell you the answer to that. So let's just jump into it and then let me know what you think. So this is today's story. There was a young girl, a young woman, she met a man, a man that her family and her friends did not approve of, but she was in love. Love is blind, as it often is. She ended up marrying the man, even though her family and friends did not like him. She just couldn't see it. After she was married, she regretted her decision very much. The marriage did not go well. It was hard on her. Eventually, the young woman found the courage to escape. She filed for divorce, and she did her best to start a new life. The divorce was taking longer than she would have liked, but she still, she did the best she could. She made new friends. She tried to meet new people. She did new things. She took an art class. She just tried to get out there and do something new this divorce and this marriage didn't have to define her in the rest of her life. So it was getting towards the end where the lawyer said, you know, the divorce should be finalized soon, just hang in there. And one morning, it was a typical morning, she had her breakfast, she pet her beloved dog, and she started checking some important emails, and suddenly there was a knock on the door. Her aunt answered the door and said there was a package for her. It was a long white box with a red ribbon around it. As she opened it, she realized it was one of those boxes that the really long stem roses come in. She always loved when roses came in a box. She thought it was romantic, kind of what you would like to see on TV or in a movie. She had only gotten roses in a box one other time in her life. But she was very confused. She hadn't really started dating yet. She had flirted with some guys while she was out with her friends, but she hadn't given anyone her phone number, let alone her address, so she really didn't know where these flowers were from. So after she admired them for a moment, she decided to open the card. And that's when her expression changed and her stomach sank. She wanted to be sick. The card read, if you are receiving these flowers, that means my plan worked. I drank myself to death last night. Yes, 
I'm gone. I wanted to take you with me, but that part of the plan did not work out. But that's okay, because as you can see, I will never ever leave you alone. I will always haunt you. I will always bother you, even from beyond the grave. So obviously the flowers were from her ex and she just wanted to throw up because a dead man just basically sent her flowers. Um, she knew obviously he ordered them before he planned to drink himself to death, but she just felt sick. So her aunt disposed of the flowers and she just was so shaken by this. And then a few months later, a second gift came. They were chocolates, and of course, she was scared of those, and they came with another similar note. Um, and it basically said the same thing, that she would just never be free. So, that's our short story. I mean, and imagine that, that this is just, I know it's not too scary, it's not bloody, it's not violent, but to me, that's eerie, that all you want is to be free from someone, and then this person is not even on our physical earth anymore and they won't leave you alone you just keep getting creepy gifts from them they even ruin something that you really loved like this girl loved these flowers and now she had to associate them with this man who she had all these negative experiences with so yes this was more of an eerie story sometimes they will be scarier but I had a reason for wanting to just start off with something eerie. It kind of is an eerie type day here where I live. So let me know in the comments. Did you think that was a true story or was it fiction? So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you want to see more of these. And leave me some comments and let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Bye.